Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, today, we're gonna get this thing hopefully up and running again. I think I figured out what the problem is. I think it's this wire running from the starter over here. Um, you can see there's a little bit of corrosion there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's the issue or not, but uh, we're gonna pull the harness out and then see if we can't replace this wire and hopefully that fixes our issue. Um, is it harder than just buying a new harness? Yes and no, but it saves me $500 from having to buy a new harness. So this is what we're gonna do. So, did a lot of testing on these wires that go from the alternator to the fuse box over here. Uh, I'm not finding any major issues with them, but they're not doing what they're supposed to do. So, instead of trying to figure out how this stupid thing is wired and get some new connectors for this crap here that connects to the uh, fuse box we're just going to straight up replace it um, so I've got most of it disconnected all the alternator stuff is off these are all the plugs for the uh, inject or not the injectors the uh, ignition coils we got all the all the stuff on the top end off that we can get off. Um, ECU is already unhooked. The uh, main plug back here is unhooked that goes to the body side. And then hopefully here soon we'll have a new harness on the way to get into this thing. It's been a little while since that last clip. Um, you may have seen that video where that thing got hydrolocked. Um, but we finally got a new engine harness from Honda here. Seven hundred dollars for uh, for the stupid thing. So we're going to start. Well, we're going to get this put in. Um, the first thing I have to do is get back here, and get these wires on the back side over here. And there's a couple wires on the back side over here. Well, connectors that need to be pulled off the back side of the motor. Um, we gotta do that, and then once that's done, we can start laying that in the car. So we got the old harness out. There's part of it. There's another part of it. Eh. And another part of it is still attached to the uh, intake manifold back here. And you have to take the intake manifold off, at least as far as I could tell, um, because right down in here is a starter. And I could not find a good way of getting to the starter stuff without pulling the intake manifold off which isn't very hard it's only five bolts they're just one of them's a real pain to get to I lied six bolts uh, five holding the intake manifold in and then one holding a bracket on the bottom all 
right, so we've got the whole harness in. We got the airbox in. We got the jumper on the battery because, well, it was drained after uh, three months of sitting out of the car and however long before that. So let's find out what's going to happen here. Hmm. Seems like something isn't quite hooked up right. So we're going to go through, we're going to double check everything and see what's going on. Uh, so honestly, it should be starting right now. So, uh, yeah, now the fun begins. So, took the wife's car and jumped this one because the battery was just straight up dead. Is that loose? No, it's just that. Um, and the alternator, for some reason, is still not charging the battery. Figured out what the problem is. And I wasted a whole bunch of money trying to fix this stupid thing. The uh, engine harness wasn't the problem. It is the alternator. Uh, obviously, I don't have the hood up right now, but the alternator has to be a factory Honda alternator. Something with the voltage regulator that, if you don't have the factory one, it does not charge the battery. So, I got a factory alternator, and now, get in, get this rain. Starts right up and runs. So, ugh, clutch sounds horrible. Um, so, learn from my mistake, and if you need a new alternator for your 8th Gen Civic, buy a factory one. Uh, and don't waste your money with aftermarket because it's not going to work, most likely. But that'll be it for this video. Glad to finally have one of the two cars running again since. That one in there is dead. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Don't forget, have a good time.